Hi, I'm Luke Covey, editorial director of New Tech Press, and I'm here with Hader Marbat, uh, CEO of Flexus Technologies, uh, which is, to me, it's an unusual company uh, because it's a tech company located in Paris. I haven't met many of those. Yes, so, we are from Paris. <laughs> so, uh, Hader, what does is, what is Flexus do? So, Flexus is a startup specializing on partitioning for multi FPGA platforms, especially for SOC and ASIC rapid prototyping. So what we do is offering performance tools to optimize the clock speed of the rapid prototyping platforms based on multiple FPGA devices. Okay. Now, I did some research on, out of your press release, and you talked about this being a unique approach because yes. it's timing-based. Exactly. Now, my question was is that I found several papers going back to 1996 uh, about how to do timing-based FPGA prototyping partitioning. And then I also found some news releases ranging from 2004 to 2008 from Xilinx, um, Cadence, uh, Mentor Graphics, Altera, uh, all talking about their timing-based approach to prototype partitioning. And I also noticed that S2C also talks about it in their own website. The timing-driven partitioning or I think the, the papers you talk about is the timing-driven placement algorithms. Use it inside the FPGA, use it for the VLSI. But the partitioning, the timing-driven partitioning topic for the multiple FPGA is different problem. And existing tools for multiple FPGA are not timing-driven and are failing the timing-driven problem and challenge. Okay, how are they failing? They use uh, traditional algorithms to optimize the number of signals between FPGA, but there is no view about the critical signals, the clock frequency that users want to achieve, and how we optimize it uh, between the multiple FPGA. To optimize the clock frequency uh, between FPGA using timing-driven algorithms, we have to manage many clock domains at the same time. We have to manage the interconnect between FPGA. We have to manage the hierarchy of the design and the heterogeneity of the design at the same time. All these optimization at the same time to achieve the highest clock speed. Okay, so you, have you had some customers already? Yes, we have customers from academia and research and uh, uh, the uh, the name of the tool is Wasga Compiler. Right. The early version is licensed by one leading emulator provider. Okay. So we have uh, we have already the customer and we are in evaluation with uh, three of the top ten semiconductor manufacturers. Okay. And how much does this tool cost? Uh, the tool cost it depends on the complexity of the design. Mm -hmm. The complexity of the design is for us is measured by the number of FPGA in the platform. Okay. How about for two? I can't give you the <laughs> the price. It depends. Uh, Can you give me a ballpark? Yeah, it's uh, for a two. I think we are uh, we are not the most expensive compared okay. to competitor. For the largest design, when we talk about six, ten, until hundreds of FPGA, we are uh, the only partitioning tool that is able to do this, and we are more expensive. Okay. Now, have you partnered with any of the, um, the major FPGA providers? Uh, uh, in other words, are you talking with Xilinx about how? Yes, we work closely with Xilinx, and we have here a DAC a user track talking about how we can support, uh, how we can do the partitioning for multiple FPGA using uh, the Vertex 7 multi die architecture. Okay. From Xilinx. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Good luck at DAC, and uh, look forward to hearing more about you, what you're doing. Yes. Thank you.